Hello and welcome to the 10th week of this course and in this week our goal is to study uh, two main theorems. So the first one is called Eurizone's lemma and even though it is called a lemma it is um, considered as one of the deep uh, results of point set topology and uh, we will consider it as a theorem. It is only called a lemma because uh, Eurizon used it as a mm, preparatory result for a much deeper theorem which is the Eurizon symmetrization theorem which we won't cover in this course but we will definitely see Eurizon's lemma uh, in this week's uh, lectures. And the second one is called the Tietze extension theorem. And um, both of these are uh, deep theorems in mathematics. Just as um, Tikhonov's theorem, these are uh, deep theorems in the sense that they need uh, new ideas and, and deep insights into, um, into the properties of our topological spaces uh, to prove them. Okay? And they are also extremely useful uh, whenever you are trying to do any kinds of any kind of um, uh, analysis on, uh, on topological spaces or or even within topology, they are quite useful. Okay, so um, we will come to these two theorems uh, in the later lectures, but for the for this lecture, we will um, first study two kinds of spaces. So one is called a regular space, and the other one is called a normal space. And both these kinds of spaces are um, fall under the topic of what are called separation axioms. Separation axioms. So what are separation separation axioms? These are some properties properties uh, for a topological space um, which allow us, which allow us to separate separate two uh, two kinds of subsets two um, two subsets let's say so um, what kind of subsets to consider will uh, uh, will usually differ for different kinds of separation axioms and um, we will study uh, regular and normal spaces under this separation axioms. So uh, let us look at this separation axioms. So the first one is um, if you have two points, so let's say you have two points x and y and you can separate these two points using open neighborhoods u and v. Right? So you have x, y, of course you start off with a, a topological space, let x be a topological space and x and y are two distinct points, so x not equal to y and uh, if there exists a u and v open sets containing x and y respectively, containing x and y respectively says that u intersection v is empty then we have already seen this uh, this property and of course this is the Hausdorff property so uh, uh, this is the this is called the Hausdorff property and um, so this is the uh, one of the separation axioms that's kind of considered the most basic in the sense that for a topological space to have nice properties, you um, you need this Hausdorff property. So this is a a basic basic property of topological spaces. Uh, in order to, in order for it to have 
nice properties okay so for example you have seen that uh, the class of compact house door spaces enjoy very nice properties they are uh, as we have seen in the last week's lecture they are also bare spaces and even for metric spaces they are they enjoy the house door property so um, this is one of the most basic forms of um, separation axiom so here we are separating two points separating two points Now, uh, so this is uh, the first one. The second one is when you have a point and a closed set is a closed subset of X. And so here you have X and you have some set A, which is closed. And again, you can have a uh, open neighborhoods u and v u and v uh, says that they are disjoint so now you are separating a point separating a point and a closed set so um, of course if you have a um, house of property then um, a point is is a closed set and then uh, this is uh, a more a stronger form of a house of property so the uh, house of is weaker and this property is stronger so here you want um, uh, u and v open neighborhoods of x and a respectively such that u intersection v is empty so this is called the this is called the regularity property and um, if you remember from last week's lectures we have already seen these kinds of uh, uh, this this kind of property for compact house door spaces as well as metric spaces via this separation lemma that we proved so we have seen it under the separation lemma for uh, compact house door spaces and metric spaces so um, a, a topological space which uh, enjoys the, this regularity property is called a regular space so let me write that down so definition of a regular space so a house door space x which satisfies the regularity property meaning that you can uh, separate uh, any point and uh, close subset so here uh, i should note that uh, of course x and x does not belong to a so x is disjoint from a so x does not belong to a here otherwise of course you cannot separate it all right so um, that's a prerequisite and now uh, for the regular regular spaces we already assume uh, that it is Hausdorff and um, this is done to kind of avoid some pathological uh, examples where a space can be regular but not Hausdorff and uh, we want our separation separation axioms to go from weaker to stronger so um, a regular space uh, should be Hausdorff um, and a, a normal space will be regular as well as Hausdorff but in general uh, not the converse so um, we already assume that uh, a space is Hausdorff and it's if it satisfies on top of Hausdorff property 
also the regularity property uh, then it is called a regular space. So, um, uh, what we get immediately is that uh, by definition, by definition, uh, regular space is Hausdorff. So, um, in a, a, this is slightly different from um, the definition in Moncris. So, this is slightly different from the definition in Munkres. Uh, this is because um, in Munkres's book, uh, regular space is not assumed Hausdorff, but it is assumed that one point sets are closed. So uh, in Munkres, it is assumed that uh, one point sets are closed um, in x and if uh, one point sets are closed and it satisfies the regularity property then it is called a regular space note that um, uh, requiring that one point sets are closed is even weaker than Hausdorff property and uh, you can have uh, this as a separate uh, separation axiom in fact and uh, that does exist but in you in, in general we will only restrict to a house door space so um, i have made uh, a stronger assumption here that x is already house door okay so this is a regular space <coughs> and now the third separation axiom is uh, for this for the case when you have uh, a and B disjoint disjoint closed sets okay and if there exists a U and V uh, open neighborhoods of A and B respectively says that U intersection V is empty then this is called uh, then uh, it is called the normality property of X. So given any two disjoint closed sets, you have uh, two open sets U and V containing them. So you have uh, two open sets say a here and B here and you have open neighborhoods U and V of these uh, closed sets which are disjoint. So this is the normality property and you can make a similar definition as for the regular spaces normal, normal space uh, property. So what is a normal space? Uh, so a Hausdorff space, again we are assuming Hausdorff in our definition. X is called normal if it satisfies the normality property. So this means that given any two pair of disjoint closed subsets, you have these open neighborhoods U and V that, uh, that are disjoint. Okay, so um, again by definition almost, so by definition, um, uh, a normal space is automatically regular because uh, in a house door space um, a one point set is closed so you can have uh, for uh, you can replace this closed set a with a point that is also a closed set 
and uh, you can have b to be any arbitrary closed set disjoint from um, from that point and uh, then you get the regularity property so um, hausdorff um, sorry a normal implies regular and a regular implies uh, hausdorff so normal implies a regular implies hausdorff and um, we will concentrate on on uh, a normal and regular spaces but there are also other separation axioms that one can consider uh, but uh, we will only consider normal and regular spaces now let me give a characterization of uh, regular and normal spaces in terms of, of neighborhoods okay um, so you'll see what what i mean just by considering neighborhoods of closed sets and neighborhoods of points so let us see um, it as in a lemma so here's the lemma um, we have x a house of space and the first part says that x is regular if and only if given a point x in x and a neighborhood u of x there is a neighborhood v of x such that uh, x is in v v is a subset of v closure and most importantly v closure uh, is a subset of u and uh, we have seen this kind of uh, a result also for the compact house door spaces and metric spaces uh, when we were considering the separation lemma we have seen it as a corollary so um, it, it works for general regular spaces as well uh, the second part is the basically the same statement for normality so x is normal if and only if given a closed set now um, a in x and a neighborhood u of x there is a neighborhood v of a such that a is a subset of v is a subset of v closure and uh, v closure is a subset of u so in, in the first part you have uh, a point x and you have a neighborhood u right and you want a neighborhood a smaller neighborhood of of x v such that uh, v closure uh, so this is a v closure uh, so v closure also lies in u and similarly here you have a a closed set a and a <coughs> a neighborhood u of a and you want a smaller neighborhood such that the v closure is, is sitting inside your bigger um, given neighborhood u so uh, let's prove this uh, first part and um, i will leave the second part um, just as an exercise because the proof is exactly the same basically uh, uh, even in the statement you see that you're just replacing a point by a closed set and um, in the proof as well if you replace the point by the closed set throughout you will get a proof so i will only prove the first part so let's see a proof for the first part for regular uh, for the regularity property so to start the proof uh, suppose that x is regular and uh, we have to show that uh, given x in x and uh, open neighborhood u of x there exists an open neighborhood v of x says that uh, x belongs to v uh, it is a subset of v closure it is a subset of u so how do we use the regularity property so you have a point x here x and you have the open neighborhood u u now uh, to use the regularity property you have a, a point x and to use the regularity property you need a closed set uh, which uh, which does not contain the point x so what what is the candidate for a closed set here 
So uh, the easiest one and which works is simply by taking a u complement. Okay, so since u is open, so this is u complement. U complement is a closed set which does not contain x. So suppose so let um, let us write b as a u complement. This is a closed set and x does not belong to b. So since x is regular, so there exists um, a neighborhood neighborhoods a v of x and a w of b such that uh, v intersection w is empty. So here we have found two neighborhoods now. So one is a neighborhood of a u complement which is b. So let's say this is this is a neighborhood of u complement. So uh, we are considering rather this part, right? So this part is is uh, the open set W. It's a neighborhood of u complement. On the other hand, you have also found a neighborhood V of x which does not intersect W. And and this is enough. So um, our the v that we find here uh, uh, will already be um, set which will, will already satisfy this property that the closure of v must lie inside u so why is that so i claim that um, a v closure is a subset of u so it suffices to show so uh, suffices sufficient to show that v closure intersection b is empty so remember that b is simply a u complement this is the u complement here so um, if a v closure does not intersect u complement then it must be uh, lying inside u so why is b v closure um, does not intersect um, b well this is simply because uh, if uh, y belongs to B, then the the open set W that we found here, then W is a neighborhood of um, Y says that a V intersection W is empty, and this means that uh, Y does not belong to V closure, right? Because if it belongs to V closure, every neighborhood of Y must intersect V. So we, uh, since V uh, does not intersect W, then uh, we conclude that Y does not belong to V closure and therefore this implies that V closure intersection B is empty and this implies that um, uh, V closure lies inside U. So uh, if X is regular, then we have proved that, um, so this implies X belongs to V it is a subset of v closure and this is a subset of u now uh, let us show the converse the reverse implication so uh, now uh, suppose that um, for every uh, point x in x and uh, neighborhood u of x there exists a neighborhood v of x says that x belongs to v subset of v closure subset of u and now we have to show that given a point x in x and a closed set closed set b of x uh, says that x does not belong to b uh, then there exist open neighborhoods open neighborhoods u of x and v of b says that u intersection v is empty 
So uh, let's try to show this. So this is the regularity property and we will use the um, the fact that uh, for every point and given a neighborhood a u of that point there exists a neighborhood v of it of that point such that its closure is a subset of u so uh, to show this um, so how do we find the neighborhoods u of x and v of b which are disjoint uh, just to avoid confusion later on, uh, let me denote these open neighborhoods u1 and v1 instead of u and v. So uh, uh, we have to find open neighborhoods u1 of x and v1 of b such that they are disjoint. So to start with, we consider consider uh, the open neighborhood. Uh, u which is given by b complement so uh, remember that x does not belong to b and this means that x belongs to b complement which is u so and since b is closed u is open so um, uh, this set u is an open neighborhood um, of x and now uh, from this uh, assumption from the assumption above Uh, there exists a neighborhood um, e v of x says that x belongs to v uh, which is a subset of v closure is a subset of u and now uh, set v, uh, v sorry u1 u1 to be v and v1 to be uh, the complement of the closure of v so this is just x minus v closure and because v closure is closed v1 is open and u1 is of course an open set so um, i claim i so claim that um, first of all um, x belongs to v this is trivial trivially true because we have uh, that uh, uh, not v is u1 so we have already seen that uh, v is a neighborhood of u so x belongs to u1 secondly uh, b is a subset of v1 and thirdly it's probably the most important that v uh, v1 and u1 are disjoint so um, first of all uh, i'll just skip the first one the, so the second part why is b a subset of uh, v1 uh, closure so this is simply because so to prove two note that um, you have v closure is a subset of u which is b complement so this means that uh, v closure complement uh, or rather b b is a subset so just taking the complement on both sides we have that b complement complement is a subset of v closure complement and this means that uh, b is a subset of v closure complement so um, this proves two and now the only part left is to show that um, uh, u1 intersection v1 is empty so uh, remember that uh, u1 is v and v1 is v closure uh, complement right so uh, let let us take y in v1 then y does not belong to uh, v closure and this also means that y does not belong to v since uh, v is a subset of v closure so um, it's this is also quite easy to see that um, u1 and v1 are disjoint so this proves that 
this proves that um, x is regular so just to recap we have assumed that uh, this property of um, finding smaller neighborhoods with uh, closures inside a bigger neighborhood holds and then we have shown that you can separate points with closed sets using open neighborhoods okay so this proves that x is regular